Hello everyone, this is Christmas Secret Fab. Been a busy last 48 hours. Yesterday, my daughter was born. My wife was a champ. Um, today, we had Idalia come through Florida. It really hit the area north to us. We're in North Fort Myers, so we got hit pretty hard with Ian. Still had to tap the boat, got a little damage. The water rose a little bit, but I wanted to get an install done of a template that a customer requested. So it's Wednesday, late night gonna get this installed just gonna go through a quick overview video and show you guys what it looks like so he wants some racing stripes on the fender this is not the final look let me show you this alignment strip i have here right in the middle i'll talk about this in a second then we'll rip it off and give you that final look i pretty much used the center line of the wheel kind of went up and the center line's right there you can space it back on the edge or however you want it however you think it looks best on this fender because pretty much right through this section it keeps about even all the way through so you can move it forward a little bit you can move it back a little bit you can use the trail side as a guide and measure back or you can use the corner and measure forward anything you want it's just about getting it the same way on each side of course you can't see each side so if you're a little off people probably won't notice it however what we did here is we use a microfiber cloth we use a detailing spray with no wax and we cleaned this off so there's nothing built up over here there's no wax no dirt dust anything like that clean your hands uh, make sure you have some of that sticker fab fluid a felt tip squeegee and then your vinyl so as i was peeling it off i was spraying the sticker fab fluid on there that ensures that if a gust comes by it doesn't fold on itself and stick permanently and i'd already sprayed down the entire fender with that sticker fab fluid be very liberal with it um, what you're using that fluid is to do is be able to readjust the vinyl get it in the right place and then you squeegee out all of that liquid and along with it goes all of the air that might have gotten trapped under that vinyl so you have the very wet vinyl you put it down you make sure it's where you want it basically the top of this fender line going all the way up to that seam and then you just squeegee it on out and then I have this little alignment strip in the middle. So I made sure that there was just a small gap in front, small gap in the rear, and I got that on there. And then I put the rear stripe on there, same way, going from that seam down to the top of that fender indention. And then I just take out that alignment strip. And this is what the customer want, wanted, just a little racing stripe. So I have it spaced about an inch and maybe a quarter apart. Um, of course, you can make that gap bigger. You just use that alignment strip and make sure the same gap is in the front and the rear of that. And that's what you got. So looking real pretty here in North Fort Myers now. Uh, the water has subsided. We're right next to the river. And you can actually see the river kind of break on the shore. Uh, let's see if we can see through there. Over here, I can see the river break on the shore. We're looking over towards actual Fort Myers in the distance. Or I got high, but not too high this time. Thank God. Uh, let's pray for the people to the north of us. Hope that they made it through this. It was not our storm. Ian last year was our storm. Almost took out this vehicle, took out our two-door carbonized non-Sasquatch vehicle. But real happy with this install. Looks really great. I'll be sure to give this to the customer so they can order it up. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are coming out with for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco.